Hi, I'm Jason, and in this tutorial I thought I'd let you in on one of my latest toys. It's a head tracking device which I use to play games. Um, in the demonstration you can see here I'm playing a game called Daisy, and when I look left and look right and look up and look down, the head tracker, which is situated on the top of my headphones there, a little tiny box, does all the work without me having to press the keys, which is particularly good in games like this and things like Elite Dangerous and many driving games. So I built this device myself and once I'd built it I'm going to now take you through the steps on what I did to get it working. So the first thing uh, that you need are three downloads, uh, two of them are bits of software and, and one file is going to be a driver. So if we open up a website called edtracker.org.uk and by the way this is where you can get all the instructions to build one of these devices yourself and up here in the download section we're gonna download a piece of software so that's uh, where's the software there it is so under GUI we want the Ed Tracker GUI which is the version 4.04 zip so let's download that and we'll save that and if we go back we also need the driver. There's a little Ard Arduino board in there. There it is. Driver 1.6.9, so we need that as well. So let's download that. And then one more thing we need is the open track software, which is a uh, open source piece of software, and we can get that from github.com. Let's just try open track and see if we can find it this way. Nope, okay, let's try open track in here. Now, what I found really difficult about open track was that um, once I'd found the area where you could download the software, and uh, to me, I mean, to everyone else it might be simple, but to me, I found it a, bi a, a big nightmare to try and find. But for all the latest versions, it says visit this link. So you go to this link, and here we see the very latest version, which is open track 2.3. RC49P2. Well, I'll tell you, I installed this and I was pulling my hair out thinking, well, I must have made this device wrong or something because I can't get this open track software to work. And then I realized as I keep scrolling down here through all the different releases, uh, and it's several pages down, I should have been a bit more prepared before I did this. Sorry about that. Uh, we're nearly there. There it is, open track 2.2 known stable version. So my advice to you would be to use that. Um, it seems to be flawless. So let's download that one. Right, so first things first, we'll look in our downloads and let's uh, extract all of our files. Obviously, open track being the largest, and then I'm going to select all of these folders and we'll copy them and put them under our C drive and we'll delete the stuff in downloads later. So, the first thing I want to do is uh, install the drivers. So, uh, depending on whether you've got 64 uh, bit or 32 bit, depends on what executable that you're going to run here. Um, mine's 64 bit, so I'm going to run the 64 bit executable. And we'll just agree with what it says, and eventually you'll end up with um, four pieces or four parts of the driver there. And we'll click finish. So the next thing to do is to um, plug in our Ed Tracker, and this is one that I've made a little tiny box here with a micro. USB which we just connect into the side and then obviously at the other end we want to plug that part into the PC it would help if I uh, get it run the right way okay so what you'll notice when you do plug it in is um, the little Ed Tracker device uh, will light up with various different colored lights inside unless you've put it in a, 
uh, a dark colored box and you can't see the lights but I did that purposely so you could see the lights now I'm gonna make sure this is flat on my desk and kept still by putting a, a, a weight on it and this is a torch and I'll explain why I've done that in a moment so back on our PC let's uh, open up our properties and device manager and if you look down in the port section you should notice that you now have an Arduino Leonardo on whatever com it is mine's on com 3 yours might be different so we know it's uh, connected the computer recognizes it so let's go back into our C drive and we'll run the GUI program the Ed Tracker GUI and to make things easier I'm just going to right click send to desktop as a shortcut and we'll run the program so the first thing you notice is, is you've got a, like a, a big face staring at you and in, in this example it's upside down um, now this is a device that I've made myself so it's already flashed with the latest firmware uh, which you can see at the very top there's a drop down box uh, drop down box it says Ed Tracker 2 9150 mine's already flashed um, with the Ed Tracker 2 9250 because that's the board that's inside if it's not picked it up you can click scan ports but you'll notice here we already know it's on COM3 uh, so there's my my device the 9250 which is the latest one and if you did need to flash it obviously you just click the flash button there but I don't need to do it and up on the right hand side it says not connected so let's connect to tracker now we are connected and if I just wiggle the tracker about a little bit we can see the head moving but it's not not very stable so I'm gonna restore factory defaults and we'll set this up from scratch now this auto gyro bias when we click this button it requires you to keep the ed tracker device still and on a flat surface so you can see at the top there it says calculate calculating gyro bias keep ed tracker stationary so that's why I put that weight on it it has to uh, get its balance it has to understand uh, what a flat surface is so obviously that's important so once it's finished the head turns up the right way and now when I tilt it move it left and right and up and down I can do all these sort of things with it now it's not perfect at the moment so it's still a bit uh, jerky um, another thing I've got to realize is when I am um, eventually mount this Ed Tracker on top of my headset um, where the micro USB cable goes in uh, on my side it's going to be to my right that it's uh, coming out uh, so my right so I need to show this as top USB right so now the head is facing the same way mine is if you know what I mean now the smoothing uh, will help you when you're moving left and right to have more of a smooth motion as you do it not not so jerky not so snappy um, so we'll start with something like 40 you might even take it to 50 or 60 uh, depends how how quick you want this thing to react and I prefer it to be a, a, a bit more smoother a bit real a bit, bit more realistic you can enable a hotkey in order to self center it again if you think it's wandering off track but if you noticed in the picture earlier I had a little button on mine which does the same job um, so that's uh, another keystroke I don't need to worry about if I think it needs recentering I'll just tap the little button on my Ed Tracker and uh, that, that then centers itself so the next thing to do is the magnometer which I've just clicked on here and at the moment it's blank and if we move the sensitivity bar up just about over 75 percent of the way you'll see points there start to travel up once these points start traveling up you then need to start rotating the Ed Tracker in all fields of motion now I don't know why I found this so difficult to get to grips with or understand the whole of the field of motion that I needed to give this thing um, but basically you you turn it 90 degrees 180 degrees 360 degrees in every single possible way you can think of and then as you're doing this you'll see the points are, are traveling up now once they get past 800 it's generally enough for you to um, to get the most field of motion 
a, an easier way for me to demonstrate is it's similar to the way I'm doing it here so there's that way and then that way and then upside down now obviously you're not going to be playing games spinning on your head like a break dancer but you get the idea that uh, the magnometer inside the device gets more of an understanding of the complete 360 degree motion so it, it sort of generates like a, a ball if you like and if we go back here um, and when we are satisfied that we've got enough field of motion then we can click the save calibration button in the very bottom right hand corner and you should end up with something that looks, that looks similar to that so we've got two um, spheres that uh, are pretty, pretty perfect, not too perfect, but uh, already I can see it's a lot smoother and a lot more responsive. So I'm ready to mount this on my headset now. So that part is done. I'll minimize that. I'm going to leave it running. And we'll now open up our open track program. So again, I'm going to right click, I'm going to send to desktop shortcut because we're going to need this program on our desktop. We're going to want to make sure we start this up before we play games. So the first thing you notice is you've got like a big pink octopus thingy up in the left hand side. Um, and then under here at the moment it says not connected. Um, and the, this is the main tracker. I'm just going to leave it on what it's set to. The auxiliary tracker, we're going to fool the computer into thinking it's a joystick. Uh, in fact, let's make that joystick as well. And the game protocol will use free track. Uh, so when you go into settings on free track, you can enable both free track and track IR, or you can just use free track and hide track IR, or use free track and hide track IR. Um, so there are a couple of settings to play with. The profile area here allows you to set up profiles for different games that you might want profiles set for. The filter, I'm just going to uh, stick with an Excel filter, I think that's how you say it. And then the last thing is mapping. Now because we've fooled the, into thinking it's a, a joystick, we're just going to use your pitch and roll. And we're going to keep it simple. So this is its um, response time if you like. So uh, I'm going to set these two markers for simplicity um, just to have the response go from 0 to 180 uh, a steady rise now later I could start fine tuning it and start adding curvatures to the response time depending on the type of game I'm playing and how quick I want it to react um, but for now I'm just going to keep it simple so same thing with pitch let's just have a constant elevation on that and the same thing with roll X, Y and Z we don't need to worry about uh, there are options here that you may need to mess about with particularly the um, the invert options for your pitch and roll um, to tell you the truth I can't remember how I sat, set my first one up but um, and up here we've got uh, translation compensation so we can disa disable the z-axis it depends on the type of game that you're playing and then when you finish configuring open track and you're ready you can save your profile and then just click start and then it should start responding but in my case it obviously hasn't responded because I must have done something wrong so what did I do wrong have I still got open track running let's just stop it for a minute and have a look at some of our settings again let's just uh, re-enable the z-axis and start no nope, it wasn't that It's picked up our Ed Tracker 2 there under settings and there, so that's right. It can see the device properly. Uh, let's just double click to make sure Track IR, uh, sorry, not Track IR, our Ed Tracker 
GUI is still running, which it is. Everything seems to be okay there. Uh, there's obviously something still that I've done here that's incorrect. Again, I should have been more prepared. There you go. This is what's called doing a video on the fly. Let's have a look at these settings again. Ah, that's probably what it was. Yeah, I'd set it to use one and not the other. So there we go. Um, I set it to use both track IR and free track. So once we start movement, we'll notice the little octopus is moving in sync as well. So we can now load or install our games. So any game that uses track IR or free track will benefit from this system now. So let's uh, minimize these and then I can just carry on. Again, this is the device. Um, the ones that I've made for colleagues uh, recently, I've given them a, a two meter micro USB cable, which seems to be long enough. Um, a good idea is to, you know, have some cable ties so you can fix the cable down uh, alongside your other cable on your headset. Um, as you saw with my head tracker, I've used uh, cable ties to fix it, but um, sticky Velcro is a good idea. Uh, drivers and software I've put all on a disk including the instructions and as an extra measure I've printed out instructions as well and because I'm a nice chap like that and uh, so this is a typical kit that I made myself and uh, um, sold it to a, a couple of colleagues so I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you're interested I've got uh, two or three of these devices left so please make a comment if you want more info and you want one of these yourself um, so thanks for watching